Hello everybody and welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have Session 7 and I will upload the complete walkthrough with all endings in the bottom description. So Session 7 is a game where it's a point and click adventure where you start your journey in a basement and you go from the basement to talking to your psychiatrist. And you don't know why you're in the basement at first and you have to, it's a point and click adventure so you gotta look around the room and click objects and this game was <laughs> very hard my first playthrough so when I do my walkthrough I'll have everything explained and tell you how to do everything because I've never been good at point and click adventures because it takes a lot of thinking and you have to sometimes they want you to use items in ways that I wouldn't comprehend them which is crazy <laughs> Like, this dude's apparently some kind of MacGyver that can open a lock with paper clips, which is just brain-boggling to me, but okay. And so you're basically just trying to figure out your way to get out of this basement. And as you go on, you unlock items and story elements that basically tell you how you got into the basement, why your therapist is talking to you. And this does have multiple endings, like I said, and... The choices give you a lot of different story elements, so it's good to play through it, at least for the three different endings, and like try to pick different choices each time, so you can get the full story of like your wife and your kid and figure out exactly what happened in this story. The story's pretty good. It's nothing that's like too shocking or anything like that. And it has three pretty varied endings on like where you can end up by what choice you decide. I think only one choice actually matters to like what ending you get, and it's like at the very end of the game so basically what you choose in that is going to give you the ending that you deserve I guess luckily I got the good end on my first try because I was actually trying to get the good end it doesn't seem like the story's not too complex or anything it's really generic <laughs> it felt to me everybody there doesn't seem to be like a really really happy ending though <laughs> I was like, because there's like an okay ending and then there's like two bad endings. That's what it felt like to me. The There's not much gameplay out of that besides that, like pointing and clicking and that's about all you do through it. And then you just discover it's like a detective game, kind of. It would have been nice if it was like a larger world kind of thing because just being in the basement and it's, once you figure out how to do everything, it is a pretty short game. It like took me like... I think 10 minutes to speed run it after I actually knew what I was doing and skipping through the text at least you can like skip through the text outside of the very beginning text like you can click through it like super quick which is good and I wish you could sk skip through the credits <laughs> because when you're playing through for multiple endings you gotta watch the credits every time and you're just like they're not too super long so this is kinda like a minor complaint but I was just like come on man <laughs> let me do let me let me go <laughs> I need to beat the rest of the game the th some of the puzzles that you have to solve are kind of neat, like the one with the mouse and the drone. That's that's actually pretty neat. It keeps it a little bit like entertaining. Some things, if you're not paying attention though, you're gonna get hard stuck. Like there is one thing that you had to look at to get a item that you needed. And there's nothing really that tells you to look at it besides that you can pick it up. Like I picked it up and I was carrying it around with me and I never looked at it until like maybe an hour after playing the game. So I was just like, what? Yeah. And so the walkthrough, when I do that, is going to basically just show you exactly what needs to be done. It's not going to be me wandering around like randomly. This game, I know this is a short review, but there's not much to talk about in aspects of gameplay and graphics. Like they're pretty standard for a free-to-play game and gameplay of course is just a point-and-click venture and it's a it's got puzzles so I mean puzzles aren't super unique or nothing it's not like a Rika puzzle game where the, all the puzzles are different it's more of just like piecing things together the story's a little bit above average it's not like I said it's cliche but at least there's different endings and like you can learn a lot about your situation by checking um, by checking all the different options that you get while you're talking to your psychiatrist because he gives you very varied responses to each thing and like you'll get different like you get a pretty
decent amount of additional story for each different answer. So that's always good, and you can find out, like I said, you just get more plot, which is always interesting. So this game is going to get a 6 out of 10. It was it was fun, and it was a little bit above average, but other than that, there's nothing that's going to be... You're not going to play this game and be like, oh my god, it's amazing, it's my favorite game. It's just good enough to replay to like find out all the plot and stuff, but it's not good enough that it's like a great game or something that I would like... Oh, you really need to play this game. But I, I think you'd enjoy it if you did. Thanks for watching as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And thank you everybody that has already done that. I really appreciate it. It gives me the motivation to make these videos. And, bye!